Supreme has become one of the largest streetwear brands in the world. However, its beginnings were much more modest. James Jebbia founded the brand and opened a small store in downtown New York in 1994. At the time, it cost Jebbia $12,000 to start his product line and store. Adjusted for inflation, it's still a modest 19 grand. So how did the small skate shop become one of the most influential clothing brands in the world? The iconic Supreme logo wasn't very unique. Jebbia was heavily influenced by Barbara Kruger and her art. The font style of future was used intensively by her in her anti-Nazi propaganda art. Yeah, you can see the similarities. However, the font ironically came from Germany, designed by Paul Renner. The Supreme Box logo, or more commonly referred to as the BOGO, was designed with this inspiration in mind, and clothing with the Box logo are some of their most sought after pieces. The first Supreme store opened on Lafayette Street in downtown Manhattan in 1994. It was designed with skaters in mind, with a unique design for the store layout by arranging the clothes around the perimeter of the store. A large central space permitted skaters with backpacks to skate right into the store and still feel comfortable. Since then, it has expanded to 11 locations, 6 being in Japan, as well as London, Paris, and Los Angeles. Though the brand began by selling mostly clothing and skateboards, Supreme expanded into producing limited pieces of a lot of random things, such as brakes, lighters, crowbars, etc. It is often thought as a running joke. Supreme gets away with selling brakes for $30 and they resell for even more. Tyler the Curator was a big reason Supreme gained exposure. He shopped in the store early on before the hype followed. Since then, Supreme has been worn by countless celebrities, some of the biggest being Drake, Nas, ASAP Rocky, Travis Scott, Kanye West, and many more. The exposure brought to the brand by these celebrities is another reason for its success. Supreme built its name around super limited pieces, which though not expensive in retail price, skyrocketed in resale value. This may be their best marketing technique, letting their fans do a chunk of the marketing by lining up in front of stores, reselling for obscene prices, and making good profits, all leads to turning heads in news coverage. All free press for Supreme. Jebbia has said he didn't limit product launches at first, he did it so that he wouldn't sit on stock. However, that is now a major part of the brand's influence. The brand has also collaborated with many much larger brands. Brands such as Nike, Louis Vuitton, CDG, as well as celebrities such as Morrissey, Lady Gaga, and Gucci Mane help Supreme gain support from fans of other brands and celebrities. During Supreme's 23 year run, it has only grown in influence. Other brands, most notably Union NYC, a brand Jebbia helped start up, lived their hype and ended. However, Supreme has only grown in popularity consistently. With his most recent collaboration at the time of making this video with the New York City MTA, the MetroCard collab was met with widespread interest. The card being sold at regular vendors has brought the Supreme logo into many New Yorkers' wallets and will be a reminder every time you use it.